So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Plan is Through the Samsa chart. <clears throat> and this week, we're going to be covering Saturn in the 8th house of your Dhasamsa chart. As in what happens when Saturn is sitting in the 8th house of your D10 Dhasamsa chart, which is known as the chart of obligation to society, our duties in society, our responsibilities in society, including our work. Because it is part of our, uh, you know, obligation. It's part of our karma. So that's what we're going to discuss today. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular placement of Saturn, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, in the birth chart, all the other astrological details, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, include my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Magavetic Astrology Academy. And you will also find the link to my Keras Vlogs. I'm actually going to discuss a uh, compatibility technique on Wednesday. Very simple. It's like the easiest thing. So anyway, Saturn in the 8th house of the Samsha. Unless you are an Aries ascendant or Taurus ascendant. Okay. When Saturn is in the 8th house, most definitely... It brings many ups and downs in your career. I mean, it's like <clears throat> it's like a convict going to jail for like the 90th time. And literally after the 40th time, they're just like, I'm just going back home. And so what happens with these people, they just, at one point, they just kind of... Um, get used to that where there's major transformation changes uh, in their career in their reputation now ups and downs will come if saturn is in a difficult placement in the eighth house but ma majority of the time what i've seen saturn brings transformation like a, a transformation where a person just feels like, you know what? I just know a change is coming because I've gone through so many changes in my career. I know a change is coming. It, it becomes that much of that consistency of change. You know, because everything changes, but change itself. And that's what applies here. One of the things you'll also see major uh, karma with your bosses and authorities. You will never find any happiness from them. I don't even care if you're making a million dollars a year right now. Whomever is above you, you just will not have cordial relationship with them. You will... Um, here's the thing with this particular Saturn. Because, you know, I just, I've seen so many charts. Is that this person... Number one will boost about their authorities and bosses at work. This person will boost about how good their reputation is in their career. It naturally just comes out. And it's not really lying. It's just um, they feel proud. They feel proud of it. But the thing is, in reality, they will have a really bad relationship with the boss. In reality, their reputation is nothing, uh, you know, astounding. It's not at that accolades where that they were really trying to show. So that's a little problem that becomes. And the thing is, the more you boast about your work, your reputation, the bosses you work with, and if it's not true, the more it's going to tighten its grip on you, the more you're actually going to suffer. So usually with this Saturn I've seen, like a person will boost about their wealth, will boost about their reputation, even if it's not there. And they need to be very careful of that, you know, to just be honest about it. Like, for example, if you are like someone like Jeff Bezos, you don't even need to say anything. People just know. But if you're, let's say, a car salesman, who's putting everything in a credit card to buy all those nice watches, clothing, getting some heavy interest 
you know, luxury car loan with this, and then you're boosting about how great your image is in society, then Saturn will hurt you. Saturn will sting you. And obviously there's also a karma related to subordinates. You will have a, an incident at one point in life where subordinates will suddenly just leave you. All of them will just uh, retaliate against you. Because obviously you're going to do something, you know. Um, there are positions where a person can be wrongfully accused by subordinates, especially if let's say you have Saturn in the 8th house and then Rahu sits in the 5th. It's one of those placements that um, your subordinates will retaliate against you just to get you out. Maybe you didn't do anything. Maybe you were just standing up for something. You know, maybe you stand up, stood up for some political belief you have, but it didn't coincide with the co-worker's political belief and, you know, they're just going to try to pull some shenanigan. So, now, this can't really tell us what kind of a career one should do. What simply it shows us that whatever work you choose, try to choose a work where you are not forced to change, but the change just happens. Change just happens. Meaning, you know, the, you know that when you're stepping into this position, that is bound to change. Like for example, an actor. This is a great placement for an actor. Because they know once this movie is over, once this show is over, there's got to be something completely different. So in one, I am playing the detective and the police. In a new movie, I'm playing the mafia role. I'm playing the role of a gangster. So this is how polar you know, change it's going to be for such a person. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Saturn in the 8th house of your Dasanta chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos. And if you want to know what your placements are in Dasamsha and your Nakshatra placements in the birth chart, check out the links here, including my academy, my consultations, and everything else. Otherwise, we'll see you after this weekend because I need some time off. Bye-bye.